Yeah. They either come from young people, there's a few from the youth team, or parents. Oh. The hard one parents. There are. Good call. So, I'm going to start really easy. The first question we got a lot, and that is, yeah. who are you? Who am I? <laughs> I mean, how do you answer that? I'm Josh. There we go. Next question. <laughs> well, I grew up in Christchurch, uh, 22 years old. Uh, grew up by, yeah, I went to Mont's Walk. I mean, uh, that, these are just facts about me. I don't know if that helps or not, really, but... No, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, okay, next one is the facts again, but this time, not that those ones weren't interesting. <laughs> um, name three interesting facts about yourself that people are unlikely to already know. Ooh, three interesting facts. Uh, well, um, interesting, okay, um, well, good fact that I mean I did use it but it was only a few of these were there uh, but I have actually sung on the final of The Voice. <laughs> that is a good fact. That's yeah, such a good fact. I mean it's not actually that impressive because I wasn't like I was just in a little choir and I was in, but, but I was on the final of The Voice. Um, cracked my head open twice. Uh, once was because I'm pretty sure anyway it was because my sister was chasing me with a wooden spoon and I ran into the radiator. Uh, and the third interesting fact, um, ah, I mean, to be fair, my favourite, <laughs> I use this one as well already, but my favourite Christmas album is Cliff Richard's Christmas album, Cliff at Christmas, Absolute <laughs> Bangers. I'm not sure that that's interesting, I think that's tragic. Uh, <laughs> nah, but you, you haven't listened to the CD, you, you don't understand. <laughs> Give okay. it a listen. This is still, we're still on the topic of you. These are the hardest ones, I think, answering questions about yourself. But describe yourself in three words. Ooh, describe yourself in three words. Um, ooh, three words. <clears throat> uh, let's say, hmm, passionate. Yeah. Uh, chilled. And third word. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Passionate, chill, and um, uh, oh no, this is a disaster. Sorry, I can edit this bit out. Um, I think it's now. <laughs> <laughs> it's decisive. Uh, in, indecisive, indecisive, but yeah, passionate, chill, indecisive. There we go. Okay, now we're going back to your childhood. Okay. okay. So when you were a child, yeah. Um, what job did you want to do when you were older? Ah, uh, footballer, hundred percent. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, as you can see, it's not worked out very well, but <laughs> although I mean, to be fair, it's never like. I was never like, yeah, I'm actually going to do this. That was just a dream. Every kid's dream. A bit of I think. I mean, it wasn't mine, but I could... Well, every boy. <laughs> what was yours? I mean, it's not your Q&A, to be fair. But... Uh, well, I was an astronaut or a teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay, this... I think, personally, this is the hardest question. Okay. Okay. Because there's three parts as well. Where yeah. do you see yourself this time next year this time in five years, and this time in ten years. Oh, that's awful. All right, so where do I see myself in one year's time? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one year's time. Do you know what? I really don't know. Well, what's... I mean, it'll be nearly Christmas, won't it? <laughs> it'll be the 15th of December, 2021. December 2021. Um, do you know what? I genuinely don't know. I feel like one year... I'm going to come back to one year. Five years could be, uh, let's say, it could be Peru, you know, you never know. Could be there for, a, I could see, yeah, going there for like a couple of years, maybe. Mm. Ten years, uh, I reckon not in, not in Peru anymore. Somewhere in England. By ten years, how old will I be? Ten years, that's 32. Wow. That's so couple, old. 32, a couple of kids then, probably. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll be married. Uh, thirty-two. Oh, two kids. 
One kid. Two, maybe two kids. So, um, yeah, let's say <laughs> two kids uh, living in a, where well, do I want to be living? Not, I mean, no offence, but not in Welling Garden. <laughs> living in, I quite like Sheffield. Sheffield's a nice city. Um, yeah, living, living the life, <laughs> being a dad. <laughs> and who knows about next year? Oh yeah, next year, yeah, I'm undecided about next year. Well, we'll watch this space to find I reckon, out. Well, no, quite a, potentially in Coventry. Could be back in Coventry, because that was where I was at uni. Mm. So I'm here for a bit, and then I reckon could be back in Coventry. I say Coventry. Coventry through... A dad. A dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. This isn't as hard, but this okay. requires some honesty. Do you have any phobias? Any phobias? Now, I'm just going to say, be careful as you answer this, because they will use it against you. Uh, that's true, isn't it? So don't yeah. say like clowns or they're all gonna dress up as clowns. Uh, clowns is fine. I'm not I'm not fussed about clowns. Uh spiders. I've got I mean not like a little ones are fine or skinny ones. It's the big like the chunky ones that you get that are like <laughs> oh, horrible. Uh so yeah, spiders. Uh, probably I'd say probably snakes as well, but I've never actually like you don't just find a snake on your floor, do you? So I've got to go and say. Uh yeah, apart from that, I think I'm alright. That's not too bad. Not too many weird ones either. I know. Like normal ones. Okay, on to food. Come on. What is your favourite food? Favourite food? It could be a while. <clears throat> uh, do you know what? I'm going to say uh, ceviche, actually. It's, uh, so I had it while I was in Peru. It's like, it's raw fish, basically. But it's, it's like cooked in lemon juice and it's got like chilli and onion and oh it's so nice it's yeah that sounds amazing it is it's, it's yeah it's like refreshing as well so we'll go with ceviche that makes me sound exotic as well so <laughs> and what about your least favorite food least favorite something really cheesy you don't like cheese not much no i mean i can deal with like <laughs> wow but yeah i know it's a bit controversial but i can deal with like weak cheese if it's like melted like in a sauce or something, but anything strong, cheesy. Nah, it's not not for me. Well, I never. And what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? The weirdest thing? Uh, it would probably have to be guinea pig, I think. <laughs> I, I mean, that was in Peru where they do actually eat it, just to clarify. I wasn't like at home and hungry. <laughs> That's what's coming on the next door stop dinners. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're still on food. Come on. What is your favourite pizza topping? Favourite pizza topping? Pepperoni. 100%. Cool, that was a quick Easy. answer. Okay, there's a few more favourites. Favourite song to dance around your bedroom to? Ooh. Favourite song to dance around your bed bedroom to? Ooh. Uh... Oh, that's that's hard. Um, mm, well, I'd say there's a there's a gospel singer called Ty Tribbett, and he's got a song called the African Medley, which I mean I'm far too white to <laughs> to enjoy it, but I have a great time dancing around my my bedroom to that. Uh, so I'll go with that. I'll make sure they African play medley. that to you. Ty Tribbett, look it up. Okay, favourite pair of trainers? Favourite pair of trainers? Uh, probably my Adidas Continental 80s. I like them. You have quite a good shoe collection. Or red No, oh, thank you. I, mean, I don't have that many, really. But, but they're like nice. They're all very nice. <laughs> Quality, not quantity. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite book? Uh, I don't know. Are we talking fiction, non-fiction? Let's go for fiction. Wait, fiction. is that the story one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fiction. Uh, it's been a while since I read a fiction book. I used to love reading, but I honestly don't know what the last fiction book I read was. But I used to, we'll go with, I mean, it wouldn't be any more, but definitely my favourite books when I was growing up was Alex Rider, the Alex Rider series, Dawnbreaker. There was like six, I can't remember all of them. 
but yeah that was my favorite book I mean I don't know what I'd say now because okay favorite football team Arsenal obviously that was the most asked question just above who are you was what football <laughs> team do you support? the two most important things well yeah no Arsenal 100% okay and now the okay these are the last two of this category are uh, when did you become a Christian oh uh well technically when I was like mm, how old I was six five or yeah I was young um but I'd say realistically when I was 18 was when I was like actually was like okay well, I'm gonna live as a Christian as opposed to just be a Christian and the last one of this was can you buy us Domino's every week? <laughs> if it comes out of the church budget, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a talk to Simon about that. <laughs> yeah, talk to Simon. <laughs> okay, so there's two more categories left. Nice. So the next ones are would you rather. I think there's six of them. Okay. Um, so to start with, would you rather have fingers for toes or toes for fingers? Uh... Uh, I think it would have to be, I think it would have to be fingers for toes. Because imagine having toes for fingers. Like, it would be like that. You wouldn't be able to do anything. That would be really weird. Yeah, I think... a little toe. That would be so <laughs> yeah. cool. What would you pick up? You'd be like, you'd be like that, trying to drink water all the time. Yeah, fingers for toes. Okay. Well, <laughs> that would be weird. But you'd be like a spider on your feet. I don't like spiders, <laughs> that'd be disgusting. <laughs> okay, so we're sticking with the toe theme. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking no responsibility for this. Would you rather have a massive big toe <laughs> on each foot or massive feet? <laughs> um, and it depends like how massive. Uh, mm, probably... I think probably a massive big toe on each foot, just because I'm not that tall. So if I had massive feet, it would look really weird, I think. <laughs> Although it would also look weird if you had a massive big toe. But yeah, actually, no, that's true. Massive feet, because massive big toe is going to look weird anyway. So you might as well just have yeah, a and if, if you had a massive big toe, you'd still have to wear massive shoes to fit your yeah, big toe. Yeah, I just realised that too. Unless great. you wore flip flops and it just hung over. Like, <laughs> you made me feel ill. <laughs> you had a special like, custom trainer that added. Big, bigger, big toe part. Oh. No, definitely big, big feet. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather have constant hiccups or constant trumps? I don't know who put trumps. What trumps? I think farting. Oh right. I've never heard it called trumps before. Um, uh, hiccups. I think. Oh, that'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah, Bloody constant. Hiccups. Yeah. But constant fighting would just be, I mean, no one would ever go near you. You wouldn't be a dad in 10 years' time. No. If you had constant constant trumps. Trumps. I'd still be in Peru. No one would, no one would take me back here. <laughs> yeah, no, constant hiccups. Okay. Would you rather lose the ability to speak or the ability to read? Hmm. Uh, read. I'd rather be able to speak. Yeah, easy. Would you rather be completely hairy or completely bald? <laughs> what is it? Does it mean like everywhere or on your head? Yeah, like all, every all single pore has a hair growing out of or none of them do. Oh, interesting. I mean, I, like my arms are quite hairy already. I mean, you can't really tell <laughs> but, um, but everywhere, like imagine on your face. Now, I think I'd have to go completely bald. Yeah. Weird, but imagine if you just had hair like everywhere. You'd have to get it cut all around your eyes all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last would you rather, would you rather visit the past, brackets your ancestors, or the future, brackets your grandchildren? Oh. Uh, well, mm, interesting. I think the past, because... Well, hopefully I'll survive until the future, <laughs> or at least some of it. <laughs> I reckon, yeah, I think I'd be more interested in seeing how my 
my grandparents lived than how my children, grandchildren will live. Well, I didn't, but I'd like to survive to see my grandchildren. <laughs> Which I'm... Yeah, I'm going back. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now we're on the quick fire round. Yeah, okay. Okay, so these are all like this or that questions. Okay. So, McDonald's or KFC? KFC. Easy. No, we're McDonald's... not supposed to be quick fire and I reacted. No, McDonald's is so overrated. I can't... It is. It honestly is. The I think if you don't like cheese, there's not a lot on offer in McDonald's. Yeah, true. But the chicken from KFC is actually nice. It's like burgers from McDonald's are just like paper. They're going to not like you. That's all I yeah. have to say. <laughs> nah, KFC. Any day of the week. Easy. Okay, ready? Xbox or PlayStation? Uh, not fussed. We'll go PlayStation, but uh, to be honest, not fussed. Sprite or lemonade? Mm, lemonade. Domino's or Papa John's? Domino's. Green or red grapes? Ooh, green. Orange or apple juice? Apple. Netflix or YouTube? Mm. Samsung or iPhone? Uh, well, I've got a Samsung. If I had more money, I'd have an iPhone, but... <laughs> Dog or cat? Dog. I'm allergic to cats. You. Yeah, no one likes cats. Yeah, no. Money or love? <laughs> I mean, what I love. I mean, that sounds really cringy, doesn't it? But <laughs> White or brown bread? Ooh. Oh, that's hard, you know. I'm going to go brown. Yeah, I'd go brown. Mm -hmm. Morning or evening? Uh... Evening. Nike or Adidas? Mm, Nike. Starter or dessert? Dessert. Tea mm. or coffee? Coffee. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Winter or summer? Mm, summer. Bath or shower? <laughs> shower. <laughs> they actually put Beth or shower, but I assumed... <laughs> It wasn't about that. Well, we <laughs> well, here's one that you're yeah. gonna you can't say neither. McDonald's burger or McDonald's nuggets? Uh nuggets. Yeah, the nuggets are right, to be fair. Eat out or delivery? Mmm, eat out. Okay, now this is the last one and it's about toilet paper. <laughs> Scrunch or fold? Fold. <laughs> You've done it, that's all the questions. <laughs> Come on. Well, that is all the questions. That is all there is to know about me. Is, is there anything else that you think is important people know about you? That I need to share. I need to get off my chest. Uh, I was going to say I've got a massive toe, but <laughs> I don't have a massive toe. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love food. So if you want to make me happy, then yeah, food's the way to go. But not McDonald's. I, I can't believe that. It's just, I don't think it's so overrated. Like it's, it's just like, it's not that nice at the end of the day. It's just like, oh. Madonna. Okay, so what is your KFC order? Um, oh, I, what else has I been? And I think, uh, I, to be fair, if I'm feeling, if I'm going for it, then a, a bonus banquet for one would be a good time. Brilliant. So yeah. shall we, shall I stop recording? Uh, well, probably. <laughs> How did I do that?